Let me ask you all a question, my friends. When billions of people disappear from the face of the earth at the imminent rapture or pazo catching away, and people have to be explained to where their babies, their toddlers, their children, maybe even some of their teens went, whatever age God sets up as an age of accountability, no one knows but God for sure. When their loved one's graves are burst open wide and they're all missing, who is the world going to turn to for someone to comfort them? They're going to turn to someone that they know, that they love, that they admire. It's not going to be some new face that pops up out of the blue. It's going to be, you have to have someone you trust. When, when you're in crisis, when you're in a time of crisis and pain and suffering, I was a psychology minor in college. You always reach for the, a person that you know, that you love, that you trust, that you admire. Let's look at a couple of little things here on this picture. Barack Obama is the most famous living person in the history of the world. That's a huge, huge statement right there. Today, one of my brothers on Facebook shared with me that Obama was voted the most admired man in the U.S. for the 10th year in a row. And I dug some more. He's also the most admired man in the, in the whole world 10 years in a row as of today. Obama's the Antichrist, my friends. I'm convinced of that. I've told you I've had dreams or visions. I call them nightmares where Obama has told me that he's the Antichrist. He is surprised that I knew so early, years and years and years ago, before anyone was talking about it. He's shocked. He threatened to kill me. He said, you know, I can kill you. And I just laughed at him and told him, you can't touch me unless Jesus Christ allows you to. And I rebuked him in Jesus' name. This man matches every single scripture in the Bible that describes the future end of Christ. This man matches Revelation as the man whose name is a number. And that number is 666. That's Barack Hussein Obama's name, equals 666. He matches about 700 different sidebar issues that I've shared. He's left the presidency. He's still the most admired man in the world. Think about this. Abraham Lincoln was never the most admired man in the world for 10 years running. Winston Churchill, FDR, go through all of the famous world leaders in the history of the world. No world leader has ever been named the most admired man in the world 10 years running, but one Barack Hussein Obama. No one in any walk of life, and if they were an actor, if they were a musician, if they were a politician, if they were a philanthropist, if they were a person like Mother Teresa or a Pope, none of them have ever been the most admired person in the world for 10 years in a row. The most admired man hasn't happened, period, hasn't happened. This is the man right here. I'm convinced he's a future Antichrist. I have no doubt at all that's who he is. And I believe as soon as, as the rapture of Pazzo catching away happens, he'll stand before the world and explain that the aliens took us. And he's the one that set up the whole alien thing. When Obama took office, alien everything exploded. Magazines, books, TV shows, movies, DVDs, uh, disclo alien disclosures. Alien abductions, alien sightings just skyrocket. They continue to skyrocket as this man, when most presidents go home and work on their library or their golf game, this man has parked himself one mile, one mile from the White House in the Devil's Cavern in DC. He's running a running the, the deep red he's running the deep state from there. He's running a shadow government. He's running the US and the world by proxy just a little ways from the White House. And again, it amazes me how dumbed down all these people that believe that Obama couldn't be the Antichrist. Where are all your boys at? Erdogan, was he named the, the, the most famous, uh, admired man 10 years in a row or most famous living person? How about Putin? How about any of the British princes? How about any of these so-called Antichrists that pop up? This man has stayed strong and steady from day one. I'm convinced he's the man. And sadly, most of the world is going to find out who he is soon enough. And I'm convinced his false prophet is Pope Francis. Him, Pope Francis, and the devil, the unholy trinity, will get together and just, re, just reign pure hell on this earth for seven years. And God will reign pure judgment where billions and billions and billions and billions will die the most grotesque, awful, terrible, horrific deaths imaginable. Hardly any human being will walk out of this earth alive. God is going to rip it to shreds. And it's going to be nightmarish with 100-pound hailstones killing you. And the sun's so hot, it'll burn you or make you wish you were dead. And Poisonous demonic insects in the pits of hell sting you for months at a time. You want to die and you can't. A huge asteroid or heavenly body hitting the earth, killing billions. 
plague, pestilence, and disease wiping out billions. It'll make the Black Death bubonic plague seem like a cold sniffle. A 200 million man army wiping out billions. It's going to be hellish beyond your wildest nightmare, my friends. The most grotesque, awful, terrible, horrific, painful, suffering, agonizing deaths imaginable. Why would you go through all of that? There's no reason to. Jesus Christ is your only hope. If you've never been saved or you're backslidden, pray the prayer. Do the six steps I have in the box below the video. No one's guaranteed any more time in your life. If you'd like prayer, contact me. I pray for you each and every day without fail. This is no joke. This is real, real, real stuff, my friends. We need to wake up and understand how close we are to the imminent rapture or possible catching away. Again, please contact me for prayer. I would love to pray for you. True Christians, our job is to witness and pray for the lost daily. If you're not doing it, do it now. If you are great and look up our dip from North Nye, we fly soon. May God bless you. Take care of yourself. Share this word and get it out there. Please wake up, my friends. Our time is truly, truly short. True brother Christ, fly soon. May God bless you. Take care.